In this video, we will see how to identify and deal with reverse pairs in data. For that, I have created a table called as src underscore destination. So this is a source and destination table and I will provide the schema to create the table as well as insert data in the description for you to practice. So let me query the table which is src underscore dest and let us see the data. Now our question is identify and deal with reverse pair in the data. So let us inspect the data. So we have three columns which is source, destination, the other one is distance and we have 10 rows and the table is all about distance between the two places which is distance between source and destination and uh, if you inspect the data we can see that Alaska and Albany if I come down this data is getting repeated but it, it is in such a way that in the first row Alaska is coming in the source whereas if I come to the fifth row Alaska is coming in the destination and Albany is coming in the source in the fifth row and Albany is coming in the destination in the first row. So if we, if we inspect the distance as well that is same that is 5166 for both the rows. Similarly we have similar rows for Illinois Indiana. If you see Illinois and Indiana we can see that this data is having the same structure which is Illinois is source in the third row. If I come down to the seventh row, Illinois is destination in the seventh row. Whereas Indiana is source in the seventh row, but Indiana is destination in the third row. And distance is also same that is 279. Similarly, we have other rows as well, which is having the reverse pairs. But the problem is that actually this is the duplicate data. But if we use a count or having count and having and see the duplicate data in the table we won't be finding this because if we see the source destination as a combination this is not duplicate but if we inspect the data manually we can see that this is actually duplicate data which will skew our result badly or which will affect our result badly so it is necessary that we find the duplicate data even though it is reverse pairs and we have to deal with the duplicate data. So in this video, what we will see is we will identify similar reverse pair duplicate data and we will remove the duplicate data from the parent table. So for that, we'll see two methods and first method will be using self join and accept. So let us start writing the query for the same. This is method one. In this method we will use we will use self join and accept so the approach will be like using self join first we will find which are the reverse pairs available in the table then using the accept clause we will subtract the identified record from the parent table so let us write the query for self join first so select star from the table name is src underscore dst and I'm giving an alias name as source. So let us consider the first table as source table and I'm going to join the same table and I'm giving the alias name as dust. So this is the destination dust. And I'm going to join this on source dot. The column name is also source, sorry, equal desk dot destination and destination that is this dot source equal source dot destination. Now let us run the query and see our result. Now if we see the result, 
this source destination and distance is coming from the first src underscore dest table that is the source table and the second source destination and distance is coming from the second src underscore dest table that is the second table which we have used in the self join so if we inspect the result we can see that in the first row source is coming as alaska for the source table that is source and in the second destination table destination is coming as alaska so we can see that only the repeating or the reverse pair data we are getting now but our final result will look like result should look like we should have a source column a destination column and distance column also we don't want this data to repeat again and again so what we will do is after this and we will write one more clause that is and that is source dot source should be greater than destination dot source now we will get the duplicate result only without the table getting multiple times repeated again let me run the previous query and i will show the result and why it has reduced to 4 earlier we had 8 rows now we have only 4 rows it's because if i execute the previous query alone without the latest uh, and condition let us see the previous result once again now we have 8 rows uh, it's because see alaska and albany alaska albany is repeating ohio Oklahoma, sorry, uh, if I am wrong with the pronunciation, Ohio, Oklahoma, and Oklahoma and Ohio is repeating again, but we want this row in the result only one time. That is why we are using the AND condition here. Similarly, other rows are also repeating, that is Frankfurt, Georgia. If I come down, we can see that Georgia, Frankfurt, but I want this row only one time, so that I am using the AND condition. So let me run the query and we will get the result that is the reverse pair only single time. Now we can see that we have the result only single time without the repeating rows. Now we don't want the source destination name two times to appear in the result. So that we will modify the query. Instead of the star, we will use so your source dot star. Now we will get the columns only from the source table. That is the first source table. Now let me run the query. Now we have the result that is the reverse pairs which are repeating in the table. Now we solve the first part. Now what we want to do is we have to remove the repeating reverse pairs from the parent table. Now let me query the parent table as well as our self join query and I will show the result. See this is our parent table. This is our repeating reverse duplicate pair in the data. Now we don't want this data in the table. Then we will get the base table without any repeating reverse duplicate pairs. So what we will do is we will subtract the self join result from the parent table. We have four rows in the reverse duplicate pair we found out and we have 10 rows in the parent base table. Our result should only have six rows. Now let us use an except clause to do that. So before this query, let us query our parent table that is select star from src underscore dest. Now after that, we will use an execpt except clause. Now let us run the query and see our result. Now if we see the result, we don't have any repeating reverse duplicate in the data. We only have unique rows in the data. If we compare the result with the original table, we can identify that as well. Let me query the original table as well as the new query and we will compare the result. Now if we see the result, this is the final result that we have obtained and this is the parent table now if we see that 
in the parent table alaska albany is repeating albany alaska this is repeating but in the parent table we don't have that albany alaska combination anymore we only have alaska albany if i come down if we see frankfurt and georgia we have georgia frankfurt again repeating but in the second result table or the result that we have obtained we don't have frankfurt georgia repeating anymore so this is the first method how we identify reverse duplicate data and remove the reverse duplicate data from the table now we have a even more simple method so that is that will be using the case statement so this is going to be the second method we'll be using case statement to do that now let us write the query for that so we'll do select star so here what we will do is after the star we will write a case statement so this is case man source greater than destination then concat source comma i'm putting a hyphen comma destination then the second condition is when source less than destination then concat I will reverse the source and destination here. So destination will come first and source will come as the second part. So we'll start with the destination comma followed by a hyphen comma source and we'll end the case statement and we'll give an alias name as root root and this is from src underscore de dest table now let us run the query and see what is the result that we are getting uh, i'm giving some column name wrong invalid column name yeah i, I missed a i here destination yeah now it should be correct now let us run the query again now we can see that we got the concatenated new column along with the actual data that we are having now if we see the result for alaska albany the root is albany alaska and if i come down to albany alaska again we can see that the root is same as albany alaska so similarly if i come to frankfurt georgia we can see that georgia hyphen frankfurt if i come to georgia frankfurt for source and destination the result will be georgia frankfurt so even though these are reversed the source and destination reverse for 9 and 10 row but in the root column we are having the actual root that is from georgia to frankfurt and for the other row it is not repeating so we have the same root here with the same distance similarly we have for other repeating data as well the new column that we created using the case statement has the same source and destination which is not getting reversed anymore we will do a distinct root along with the distance to get the final result so let us consider the initial query as a sub query and let us put that inside a bracket and outside that we are going to write a select statement and we'll put a distinct close next is we'll put the column name which we want that is root comma and we want distance as well we don't want source and destination because we have the actual root here so again we don't want the source and destination to come in our result so the second column is distance we'll put a from clause and before running the query we have to give an alias name as well which is a for the sub query now let us run the query and see the result 
ideally we should get only six rows like the previous query now if you see the result we only have six rows in the result table with the roots which are not getting repeated anymore that is albany alaska is coming only one time oklahoma ohio is coming only one time georgia frankfurt is coming only one time with the same distance and which is not repeating so these are the two methods by which we can deal with reverse pair duplicate data in the data thank you